Praise the Lord, precious verse. Thank you for stopping by the Lord's channel today. Indeed, today is a blessed day that we may be able to come to you to speak to you the word of the Lord. And it is also a blessing that you also uh, took this opportunity to um, to uh, to listen to the word of the Lord instead of uh, uh, doing something something else. So the Lord is always uh, he's always looking to bless his people, and his blessings are always found in his word. His blessings are in the obedience. Of his word and so <clears throat> this morning I had received a vision from the Lord a dream from the Lord where I was shown uh, 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 young girls I was shown uh, uh, little children and and basically they were they were they had skirts on them they put on skirt they, they, they had skirt put on them and then so basically, there was somebody directing the the, the exhibition because they were there, uh, they were there in long skirts but blindfolded, and so, and so, um, the the blindfold was going to be removed from them so they can see how they how the young girls how the little children how they feel about the skirts, and so in the dream it was directed that they remove they were directed to remove the the, the blindfold. And then when they remove the blindfold, then I see this this girl, this this child, and then she was so happy. She was so happy when she discovered the skirt that she was wearing. When she saw the long skirt that was on her, she was so happy. I, the, the Lord had me seen that happiness. That the, the Lord allowed me to look and see the the joy. How she was grinning and smiling and and just happy just to see this long skirt on her. And, and and this joy I could see on her face. And then I know, basically, based on the interpretation of this, the Lord is basically saying that 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 uh one he want he wants the he wants the the parents to dress the children in holiness, to dress them in modesty, in long skirts to cover them. To cover their legs, just like to cover them in modesty, just like the Bible says in the book of First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine, that women ought to dress in modest apparel. And so, basically, the Lord wants wants modesty for the women across the board, the women and the children, the the, the girls. He wants them to to be raised in the fear of the Lord. He wants the parents the parents to raise the to their children in the fear of the Lord. And also the Lord is saying righteousness is where the happiness of the children are. The true happiness. The true happiness are, are in righteousness. It's in righteousness. It's not in watching cartoons and and, and TV shows and 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 uh playing video games, playing video games. That is not where the happiness, the true happiness of the children lies. The true happiness of the tr children lies in righteousness. It lies in righteousness. So, so basically, that's what the Lord wanted to show. The Lord wanted to show. The Lord also wanted to show to demonstrate that um that if we, if we, this generation, if we this generation, accepts His word. If we accept to obey his word and repent from our sins, then he will give us he will give us the joy of salvation. He will put his joy in us. Because I, I discovered through the Lord, through the help of the Holy Spirit, that 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 people, the reason pe people people love what they do. People love what they do. So if they keep on doing a, a sin, it comes to a point where where they start to love love that sin because they they continually do it but the lord is saying if they repent from that sin whatever it may be if they repent from it and put on righteousness and stop doing that sin and start doing the opposite of that sin and start to do righteousness then he will fill their hearts with the love of righteousness and he will fill their hearts with the love of righteousness and remove and remove that uh and remove that 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 
that that um that aloofness that they have to righteousness because sometimes uh, uh, people want to stay away from righteousness. They want to stay away from it. But the Lord says, if you step in the water, in other words, if you step in the living water, if you step in the holiness of the Lord, if you step in righteousness, then he will give you love for righteousness. If you obey, then he will give you the love for his commandments. And you can see that as a child of God, the, as you obey the Lord, you start to find that you, you find joy in obeying the Lord. Joy in, in, in obeying the Lord. You know, because the Lord is the one that gives you joy. So, so that's the one thing. And the other vision, the other dream I had now was for uh, uh, a young lady. I see a young lady in a dream. And... Um, she looked to be. Uh, she looked like she was Hispanic. She looked like that, like the way she looked. But anyhow, uh, I know she could be. Um, she represents, you know, the, the the women, the ladies. But anyhow, I saw her, and then she she had her hair in a in a ponytail. And then I think in the dream I was telling her that's good. And then then in the dream, I saw that she had a skirt. Then I was in the dream. I think I was instruct. I was beginning to instruct. I was instructing her on wearing long skirts, long, you know, long, much longer, you know, long skirts, you know, you know, all the way down. Because there is a skirt that sometimes the children of the Lord wears. Um, it's they wear skirt, but it's not long enough, you know. Uh, but the Lord is instructing at this hour that true modesty, true holiness. True modesty for the women when they dress holy is to dress with long skirts all the way down, not a skirt that goes from that goes uh, uh that goes past the uh, past the knee and then stop right there. No, it's it's supposed to be a skirt that goes all the way down to cover all of the legs. That is that is that is true modesty. So I see myself instructing her in wearing long skirts, longer skirts than she was already wearing. So I saw I was commanding her for the way she had her hair um, because she had in the ponytail. Then I saw in the dream I was also in the in in, uh, in my mind I was also uh, thinking of instructing her to cover her hair as well and also to speak to her. Also I saw I was speaking to her about the braiding of the hair uh, in the dream as well because she told me she uh, sometimes I think she said she braided her hair. So I, was, uh, so I was telling her uh, not to braid it, basically, not to braid it, to leave it, and she doesn't have to. And there's a way I was telling her that. There's a way I was telling her that. So basically, I was telling her uh, what the scripture says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, that the women uh, are not to braid their hair, not to braid their hair. Even your natural hair, you know, you're not supposed to braid. You're supposed to... Uh, Leave your natural hair without braids, without braiding it, you know. So the Lord wants you to, to be modest from top down. He wants your modesty to glow from, from your head all the way down to your toe. Because the children of God at this hour will be the ones set apart, set apart from the, uh, from the uh, uh, regular regular and common way of life they will be set apart from the fashions of this world they will be set apart you know there will be a, a holy people a holy nation a royal priesthood the lord is calling this royal bride at this hour, hour the royal priesthood which he is coming to to uh rapture for the church for, for which is going to come to take into the rapture so um this is what the lord communicated with me in dreams this um, uh, this morning, so I share it because I know He's giving me the visions because He wants me to come and uh, and and speak about holy dressing for the women. And He says that basically, if they put it on, um, even if they weren't doing it before, but if they begin to put on holy dressing, if they put on modesty, He will gives them He will give them the 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 love for modesty. You know, he will give them the love for holiness and righteousness, and he will begin to change their hearts, you know, and and remove the love of the fashion 
the fashions of this world from their hearts so they can begin to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. So may the Lord bless you. Before I go, let me read the scripture which speaks about the modesty for the women, which is in first. There's other scriptures as well, but let me just read First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9 reads as follows. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You see, modest apparel, modest apparel. Apparel is clothing. Apparel is, is garments, the, the clothes that the women put on, that people put on. He says, to dress in modest clothing. Modest clothing for the women. Long skirts covering your legs all the way down. Then he says, with propriety. Let them be uh, clothed, basically, uh, in like manner also, that the women adorn themselves mod in modest apparel, with propriety and moderation, not with braided hair. You see, the Lord gave me this vision where I was speaking uh, to the lady about the braiding of the hair. And it was to, uh, and it was about the natural hair, you know. So um, the braiding of the hair. The braiding of the hair is both uh, the natural hair and also the fake hair that uh, sometimes uh, the, the women put on uh, their heads. So the Lord wants the hair to not be braided. Whether it's the natural hair or the fake or the false counterfeit hair. So the scripture says that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel with propriety and moderation, not with braided hair or gold. You see, the Lord is saying the way a woman ought to dress herself in modesty and in holiness is not with braided hair or gold and or pearls or costly clothing, but which is, in, which is proper for women professing godliness with good works. So um, remember this scripture. It's 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. And you can read down to uh, verse, uh, verse 15. So the Lord there instructs uh, his children on how to enter his glorious kingdom. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you at this hour. Remember, the Lord uh, wants us to repent from all sins, and especially sexual sin. Uh, uh, that's why he's given me visions about the dressing of the children even, and also the women, because uh, unholy dressing is sexual sin. Because the, the body of the, uh, 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 the body is exposed and, and, and people go into lust because of that. Uh, um, so uh, sexual sin is uh, also unholy dressing, uh, unholy dressing, and 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 other stuff as well. But the Lord has helped us at this hour. Um, may the Lord uh, be blessed for His words, and and as we listen to Him, He will also bless us, as He has blessed us today to be here to hear this word. Shalom.